Here at Grid, we've built a powerful and incredibly fast spreadsheet engine. And to show you what it can do, we've connected it to a natural language interface. We can ask it questions, make it build charts, and most importantly, make our models interactive. In this video, I'll take you through a few examples that highlight what makes this engine special and why it's so fun to work with. So let's get started. Take a look at this table. It's a data set of sales spanning the past few years, all the way through the end of 2024. We'll focus on the profits highlighted here in column N. I'll start by connecting the spreadsheet, which is stored on my Google Drive. Once the engine loads the spreadsheet, it gives us this preview, a short summary of the spreadsheet, along with some highlighted data. We're interested in finding out which of our products are the most profitable, and to do that, we can create a chart. But creating a chart typically involves remembering how the X and Y axis work, which, let's be honest, can feel like a pop quiz you did not sign up for. So let's skip the guesswork and simply type create a chart showing how much profit we make from each product. And there's our chart. We can see that household and cosmetics are among the top categories over the past years. If we'd like a more hands-on approach, we can do that as well. Like for example, if we'd like to see what the profit spread was just for 2024, we can add a filter where the order date is greater than or equal to January 1st, 2024. We can then also change the number format and even enable color by point to better separate our data. Okay, that's looking great. Let's go ahead and pin this chart so it stays handy as we explore more data. Now that we've seen profit by product, let's look at how it trends month by month. To do that, we simply ask, show me a chart of the profit by month for 2024. Take a closer look at the chart. It clearly shows a dip in February. And notice how the engine adjusted the y-axis to not start at zero, making the changes in data easier to spot. We'll pin this chart too, and now I'll demonstrate how we can update our data set in real time. I'm going to open up our sales year to date in the 2025 report and copy them and paste into the connected spreadsheet. Now that we're back, we can see that the engine did detect the update to the spreadsheet. So now we can ask a question like, what's the total profit from January 2025 to May 2025? The engine gives us the number, and to verify its calculations, we can click Explain. And it shows the formula it used, a sum if over the profit column filtered by date. So that's how the engine works when we are reporting on the past. But what if we're trying to predict the future? Let's create a new chat. This time I am uploading a spreadsheet from my computer. And while that's processing, let's take a look at what it contains. It's a revenue growth model with historical data from 2019 to 2024 and projections for 2025 to 2027. We're planning on launching new products and I know what they are, but not their final prices. I'll show you how we'll retrieve those automatically from a PDF later. Now that the spreadsheet is uploaded, let's create an interactive model. First, we create a simple column chart for total revenue from 2019 to 2027. It looks great. Let's pin it and add a KPI as well. Create a KPI for this year's projected total revenue and let the comparison value be the revenue for last year. We add that to our pin section and finally we want to add a slider for estimated revenue growth. We pin that, and now, watch as I slide it all the way down to zero, we're essentially assuming no revenue growth, which is clearly reflected in the KPI. But as soon as we add some optimism, both the chart and the KPI start to look a bit better. It's impressive how all of this is happening in real time. Next, I mentioned we'd be launching new products, so let's pretend I just received this PDF from the marketing team with the final prices. Right now, this PDF is the source of truth, and instead of entering the prices manually, I'm going to upload the PDF and ask it to extract the prices for all new products. All right, we saw the workbook update, and just to confirm, let's ask it to show me the sheet where the product information was added. And there it is. You'll notice that the pin chart has already been updated to reflect the new product lineup and its projected revenue. Since revenue depends on how many units we sell, let's ask, how many units do we estimate to sell in 2025? Okay, great. And again, we can click explain to see where that number came from. But we might have a revenue goal in mind, let's say 1 million. To figure out how many units we need to sell to reach that, we can use the goal seek functionality. So we ask, how many units do we need to sell in 2025 to reach 1 million in revenue? The engine calculated the number for us, and we can explore which numbers it tweaked to get us to that projection. 
So that was just a glimpse of what the Grid engine can do. Whether you're sharing interactive models or exploring what-if scenarios, the engine is equipped with the power and speed to work the way we want with the computers of the future. Thank you so much for following along, and if this demo piqued your interest, head over to Grid.is for more information.